obviously your red lentils. Yeah. Um, but to start the recipe, you first of all put the onions okay. in. Okay. You want to turn the fire on there? Yes, I do. Where do we? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's Is it. Is the right one? I think that one's this one. There you go. There you go. Ah, there we have heat. <laughs> <laughs> that's important. It always helps. Uh, we have some oil we put in there. And you're going to saute these, so you're not really cooking them through completely because the whole thing is going to cook together at the end. Right. So basically you're going to kind of sweat these so you kind of get the flavors going. I think when you do that, it brings the flavor out more than if Definitely. you just threw it all in together and you yes. baked it off. It seems like yes. the flavor's a lot better. Because sometimes ingredients need a bit of a kickstart, so this is kind of <laughs> yeah. to kickstart it. So you put the onions in and you saute those. So that means you cook it for a little bit. Yeah. Then you add a chopped, one clove of chopped garlic. Okay. Now, if you were doing this at home, Suzanne, would you wait a little while before adding the garlic? You would wait okay. a little while um, until they start to right color a little bit. I know we're doing bit. television. Yeah, so, so just, obviously we have to speed right, up a little bit. Right, right, we just bit. put it together. But with this recipe, because we're um, kind of giving it a little bit of an Asian flavor, um, we do. We always have onions, garlic, and ginger. Yeah. And we didn't have any fresh ginger, so you can use fresh ginger, which is always nice, which you job. Or you can use ginger powder, Good. which is uh, okay. Okay, it can work. Obviously, the um, fresh ginger is better because I'm a great advocate for always do <laughs> yeah. fresh if you can because it has such a nicer flavor. But Absolutely. This oh, is all I can we have. smell the ginger. Thank oh, you. Oh yeah, I can. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So you do that and sauté them until they're look a little golden brown yes, or translucent absolutely. and you do that and then you add the red lentils put those in so these are these are raw red lentils yes you get them dried uh -huh. and then you add the coconut milk Ooh. it says two ounces but I like loads so there's actually four ounces here and four ounces is how much for us oh ounce it's a half cup okay yeah. I can see that on there okay right okay you put that in Nice. Then you put in your tomatoes. Now, would you cook tomatoes. it first or you put all no, this together? No, you can put these all in because it's all going to cook in now because by the time the lentils are cooked, um, everything else will cook as well. Right. Okay. Um, rest of Is your this spices. Pa pa that, no, that's oh, paprika. paprika. Okay. Yeah. And your cumin seeds. Nice. Now, you're not using, you're using cumin seeds yeah. instead of dried, right? Yeah, that's this the dried cumin seeds. Oh, instead of the powdered right, cumin. Yeah, you that's can use the seeds as well. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you're going to cook them. Yeah, you can you can crush them and put them in. Right. So you keep going with those. Let and those would cook you put the bit. lid on and let it simmer? Or no, you how have you to stand it? over it a little bit <laughs> and watch it. <laughs> yeah. This is a work recipe. Yeah. And you can add some curry powder into this Ooh, as well. Oh, nice. Yes, okay. Which makes it really nice. Oh yeah. Now, there is one I prepared earlier. Voila! It's right here. <laughs> Ta -da. Here, I'll shut it off here. So this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay. And, and the pink color really came out and it turned a nice yeah, yellow. Yeah, it turns yellow. Mm -hmm, yeah. yellow. So I'm going to use a little bit of the juice from here. Okay. Because you want it a little bit runnier. A little runnier, yeah. Okay. Because it was sitting for a little bit. Right. Yeah, it was a little runny. So we do this. Yeah, perfect. But and normally it would be hot, so it wouldn't be as thick. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be as hot. One, it's thick. Yeah, so you can adjust it. You can add or take away coconut milk as you like. Mm -hmm. Then you need a dish like this, mm -hmm. and you just spray. spray. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go like that, and you first of all start with a layer in the bottom, like so. Mm. Spread it out. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a layered, almost like we're making a lasagna or something. Yes, mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. And then you take the potato, like so. Now, what type of potatoes do you like to use in Just it? normal. Mm, Idaho? Idaho potatoes Russet. are fine. Russet. You can any, gold, any type. Okay. Any type. Okay. Um, in England, it would be King Edwards or oh. Irish potatoes or okay. any, 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 any plain potato is okay. fine. Um, and you already cooked these? Yes, these are already cooked. So you parboil them. So that means you half cook them, so they're half raw. Okay. Um, because it's going to be all baked right. in the oven. And so then you just slice them thin. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. okay. Uh, just sli slice them thinly. Mm -hmm. I have something called a mandolin, which is um, a V slice. I don't know, no. different countries. It's basically you no. use it to, it's a fancy gadget to slice yeah. the potatoes, but you can oh, use yeah. a knife. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought I'd get one yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> Look, That's right. Those feel really flash in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you've done that, you've done your first layer, and then you basically keep going. Okay. How many layers would you do? Does it just depend on the thickness of the pan? or? Well, um, yeah, it depends on how big you want it to be. Okay. Um, in terms of how many people you want it to serve. Okay. But you just need a thin layer in between each. Mm -hmm. um, so you would do more potatoes or more lentils if you were doing it? Um, you do more of everything and there's just do more layers to get mm, right but in your one. layers are they equal parts or would you do more like a thick layer of potatoes and a small layer of lentils no, or no it's, it's equal equal, okay. equal okay. Yeah. yeah yeah so you get the flavor okay. gotcha. all the way through because otherwise it'll be a bit little bit bland and what does it bake at it bakes in a medium oven and you leave it in for about 40 minutes okay um, but check it again it depends on the oven because right. ovens are different if you have oh, a yeah. fan assisted oven which i learned in america that's a conve convection oven, oven is it. a fan assisted oven okay. in other countries it's amazing you got all these different terms yeah okay. yeah because they, they said convection oven and i thought what on earth is that and <laughs> she see, showed me and i thought oh fan assisted oven <laughs> okay. see and if you said use a fan assisted oven jill i'd be like i have no clue what, what is that, that is you know because <laughs> i don't know what that is what in the world is that yeah. <laughs> so then yeah so nice. you just keep going all the way to the top I got some on a plate here I'm gonna try where you finish there oh I see the layers yes very nice yeah I've run a little mm -mm. bit out of mixture but that's fine you just spread it over okay and you put your final layer mm. of potatoes on the top mm. like so mm -mm -mm. that is I think good. you're enjoying that I can hear by that the sound that's good I really like that oh that's good I like the flavor mm. oh that one's good I could have that whole pan. What, what, what say I'll get? No. <laughs> that's good. I like the Asian. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I can taste the curry. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, the cumin. I can taste the cumin. Mm -hmm. The ginger. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. Um, so you layer it all the way mm -hmm. to the top mm -hmm. and you just spray it again on the top. Okay. Um, Would so you cover it? No. No, okay. So, so you bake it uncovered. Yes, yeah, so you spray it again on top like that, mm -hmm. and that's it. The reason you spray it is because then it's less fat in the recipe, yes. so it makes it more yeah. healthy. Mm -hmm. And then you stick it in the oven, mm. and that's it. Nice. And you can serve that mm. with some vegetables on the side, and that's, that's the meal. Nice. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank you. That's really, really good.